flanked by three uh, MPs. I have mm. seen Eslo Wusu, I've seen Ajua Safo, and uh, two very strong, very vocal MPs. And you know, when it comes to Parliament, we're always talking about the representation of women in Parliament and the fact that governments, successive government, have failed in you know uh, getting to the forty percent mark quota they give to women. I don't know if they will touch on it or if they want to hear more of that. But Martin, uh, what do you think? Uh, well, I think uh, it's uh, been quite informative looking at the panelists we have had uh, since morning and then also the fact that lots of expectations ahead of the sure. president's address. But we have some key personalities on the minority side, <laughs> uh, all women affair we are going to be having mm -hmm. in uh, Jiffy. We're going to pick their thoughts on their expectations and then also whether a number of the things the president spoke about in 2015 State of the Nation address uh, their engagement and weighing of the address whether some of these things have been achieved. Let me quickly introduce them, then we go straight into the discussion. On my immediate right, we have uh, Madam Frida Prempe. She's Member of Parliament for Tano North. And then also we have um, Ajwa Safo for Dom Kwabinya, Member of Parliament. And also Madam Esla. Um, no, I know it's, there's a, a middle name before Owusu. Yes, yes, Madam Esla Owusu Ekufu. Good morning, ladies, and thank you very much for joining us. Um, let me start from the right. Uh, how are you doing, and what are your expectations ahead of the president's arrival? Well, I'm doing fine. Um, last year, the president promised to fix Dumso as usual, but unfortunately, I think the president is still trying to manage Dumso. Oh, really? Yes, of course. Since last week, I've been having power outages all the time. It's a localized fault. It, what is a localized fault? What is he talking about? He said he was going to fix it. He was not going to manage it as his predecessors did. But he's trying to manage it. We are in election year, so you should expect that he will try and manage the situation until after the elections, then we'll go back to the old system. That's one issue. There's so much unemployment in the system. It's become a, a national security threat now. Now... Institutions are not employing because of IMF conditionalities and things. So that's another issue. There's so much corruption. There's so much mismanagement. There's so, so much. Um, I, I think we are not just setting up. Are, are, are these not issues you're raising only because you need to oppose the president, your government for that matter? If you can help us with some facts or statistics. Well, president, this government has been in power for eight years. The current president was a vice president four years ago. He was the head of the economic management team. So what did he do to manage this economy, the economy for us in Ghana? Our debt has shot up from, from 9.5 to about 99 billion. What have we done with the money? He's increased taxes. He's increased, he's overburdened the average Ghanaian. Let me, let me so, so what has he done? He's just touting about infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. You've increased the tax net. You've brought in the tax bill. Infrastructure isn't entirely bad. Oh, let me bring in the other. He said when in 2012, well, the same press in 2008 said it was, um, what, what? In, he talked about mediocrity. So what is he talking about now? Bring in Madam Adjuasafu and then uh, Auntie Esla. Are you, are the sentiments you're sharing similar to what you have? Yes, it is. Um, in as much as the president is um, fulfilling a constitutional requirement, which is provided for in Article 57 of the Constitution, it's, it's, it's as if um, he comes to Parliament and not tell us the real state of the nation. What, what would be but the definition of the real state of the nation? A real definition is what is currently happening in our country, which is the high unemployment rate, as my sister talked about. The youth are so much unemployed that they have to make ends meet. So they resort to all sorts of things, including crime. So crime is on the increase because if you have an able youth who can't find jobs, they have to feed their families anyway. Again, when you come to agriculture, the, minutes, um, the, um, the president talked about um, um, youth in agriculture. Yet, when you look at the statistics, agriculture is recording a negative, meaning that we're doing terrible in agriculture. Well, 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 at least what we know for agriculture, there is a slow growth. The pace at which it is growing is r relatively slower than before. Is that no, not the case? It is not. It is 0 0.3. <coughs> the gr that is a negative. So we think that if agriculture, which used to be a backbone, and it's still a backbone of, of our country, is recording such a low rate, then the president ought to sit up. Okay. Again, we are hearing too much of corruption and inflation of contract prices. We need value for money when it comes to government contracts. We have the incident of the Ridge Hospital where the price of the contract price of building was 
three times more. We how, have had. How do, you, how do you come up with these figures? And like the president described some of these comments as political quantity surveyors. Have you been able to survey yourself and come up with figures that show that what they are putting up is over bloated? Of course, we have been in power before, and we are here to do our research on our own and compare the prices on the, on, on the best practices that we find in other countries.